Hey y'all, I figured I'd try and show you the blanket I am making for Edna uh, for her donation there. Um, shh, Roxy, hush. <laughs> but I don't know if you can see this. It's like a teal green. And then there's a variegated and then a navy blue. And then I'm separating them with the, the gray, a dark gray. But I'm about three quarters of the, uh, about halfway through with that one. It's in a shell stitch, so it should stay, be warm for people. Um, my next object I've been working on for about a month. <laughs> my own design is a sweater from my oldest grandson, who's 11, 12. I don't know if you can see this or see the color. It's kind of dark in here. It's a burgundy red color. I'm working on one sleeve right now. And that I'm using, um, oh, sorry, Bernat Wool Up Worsted. And I got this at a little store near where I live. It's pretty soft for a worsted wool yarn from Bernat. It's uh, 80% acrylic, 20% wool, and 224 yards. And it's a Canadian Heritage Collection. Soft. The other items I've been working on is a baby blanket. And I've been using um, Parfait Layers by Premier Yarn. It's 100% polyester. And this colorway is pistachio, but it's basically just double crochet and single crochet and every other stitch. What baby girl? <laughs> My puppy wants to say hi. <laughs> What? Hi. Hi. Yes, you can't have that. <laughs> Hi. Yes. Hi. Okay. Okay. Get down. Get down. You're too big. You're too big. Get down. But I should be done with that. Hopefully by Saturday and be able to mail out that blanket to Edna. Hopefully Monday. Um, I've got so many things I'm working on and so many things I've got finished, but, uh, just finished this scarf. I've got to weave in my ends. just for around the house. I don't make things for myself very often and I like the colors. It's a variegated and a teal. But I guess that's it. That was just an update on the blanket. Um, hopefully get a few more 
things done before Christmas. I want to try and get a bunch of hats and scarves and cowls done so I can join my daughter in one of her craft fairs that she does over in New Hampshire. Um, anyway, we'll talk to you later.